Hi there, today we're going to be talking about gravitational field strength. Now, from the outset, we have to accept that if there is an object of, with any mass, what it does is um, it creates a field of influence all around it. Now, what I want to know is how big or how strong this force is, is going to have an impact on me. Okay, so if I'm being slowly drawn towards this massive object, I want to work out how big that force is. Now, that's actually not that helpful for anyone else, because I'll just be considering an object which is of a mass which is equal to my own. So that's a fairly unique situation. So a more useful consideration would be if we think about the amount of gravitational force per unit of mass, so per unit kilogram. A definition would kind of look a little bit like the gravitational field strength at a point is the force exerted per unit mass on a particle of mass placed at that point. So we're thinking about how much great the force is dependent on how much mass there is per unit mass. If we think about this mathematically, first of all, we already know how to work out the gravitational force. So the gravitational force would be the gravitational constant times the mass of one object times the mass of the other object divided by the distance between the objects squared. So if I want to find the field strength, it means I have to divide the force by the mass of the object. So force divided by mass means that the mass of the object I'm concerned about gets cancelled out. So that gives me gravitational constant times the mass of the key object divided by the distance away from that object equals g, which is known as the gravitational field strength. So that's kind of useful. Now this gravitational field strength is going to have some direction. Okay, It's going to be pointed towards that object. Uh, the units are going to be newtons per kilogram, so it's the force per unit kilo. Um, and as I said before, it's going to be a vector. It's going to have a direction towards that point of interest. So if that's the gravitational field strength, let's think about doing some questions with this. What is the gravitational field strength at a point 50 kilometers away from a mass of 1 times 10 to the 12 kilograms? I'll let you pause this and think if you want to try and answer this. We know that the gravitational field strength is going to be gravitational constant multiplied by the mass divided by the distance from that point. Which if I put my numbers in, comes out here as 2.6 times 10 to the minus 8 newtons per kilogram. So that's a, 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 a typical value for this kind of question. Now, if we take values for the Earth at its surface, so let's think about this in a little bit more detail now. Uh, if we have the mass of the Earth is 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, and the radius, so the distance from that center of gravity to the surface is 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters. With the gravitational constant of 6.7 times 10 to the minus 11, we substitute these in, we get a value of the gravitational field strength due to planet Earth at the surface as 9.8. Now that should be a value that you're familiar with. Um, G, or gravity on planet Earth, is equal to 9.8, or is widely given as that. So that's because the dominant effect of the planet Earth on gravitational pull is the biggest thing in our sphere of influence. Now, let's think back. 9.8 is not just the gravitational field strength. It's also the value to do with acceleration of particles when they're falling. So let's just link these two things together. It's quite an important thing to do. Okay, so thinking through these steps. This 9.8 meters per second per second um, is crucial and what we can do is we can actually measure it. We can measure it in a kind of reverse way, and hopefully that will show you the link. I know that force equals g m1 m2 
divided by r squared. Now this could be written as force equals m2 multiplied by g m1 times r squared, which as we notice is the way to calculate gravity. So it begins to look like Newton's law, force equals mass times acceleration. So the gravitational field strength for the surface of planet Earth is also going to be equal to the acceleration which we find as objects falling under gravitational forces on the surface of planet Earth. And that's why those two things intertwined.